Okay, I'm gonna do a test on the batter cast. See how they do running the AC unit by itself. It is just on first stage, 40 hertz. I have the utility power already unplugged because it's already, sun's up, it's five o'clock. It's got pretty good sun, so, and the voltage is about 316, 315 volts, so. The panels are still producing kind of enough that it's kind of balanced out to be about that in the voltage. As, it, as the sun starts going down further, it'll start pulling down on the battery. So at this point, I want to go ahead and do the test. So about 315 volts. I'm just going to pull the uh, solar power here. This will be the, so only the battery is going to be powering the AC unit. Now it's only battery, so the voltage should immediately start to sag. And I'm just going to leave my uh, phone here and record. Let it run a while. One hour, it's still running, but the volt's way down there. 283. I put this back and forth because it always likes to shut off. Fan motor's getting a little pissy. And it's actually causing vibrations. So it already is below the voltage that the utility power would be just picking it up. So it's been an hour right now. So basically two tons of AC, approximately, because it's on, you know, 40 hertz. It has ran on these batteries in these two packs. And I have enough batteries, I think, over there and a couple boxes under there to make one more pack of 24 batteries. But I'll, uh, I think I'm going to set them up with a isolation diode that it, they get charged up, but they don't get used. So I'll have like a reservoir of charged batteries if my power goes out. So I still need to build a rack system to hold all the batteries. It's pretty cool. So I need to go to the steel warehouse or something, get some angle iron and some expand, expanded steel and some steel plate to make a little doghouse and some racks to hold all those batteries. Get them in use. I might go ahead and just call it before the VFD actually trips. It's good when you just stop. So, you now I can just hear this one run. Still going. So, let me calculate real quick at the calculator. See what uh, that is per battery. It's probably down about 11 and a half volts, I'm guessing. So, 270 volts. Let's see what that is. Yes, it's a 11.2 volts per battery. Still going. So, all right. Well, it's starting to get dark anyway, so I'm going to call it. And it's to show you right here in the editor um, how long the battery did last. So this is the. Let's just go down here. I'm just going to put this all the way at the beginning again. Oops, over here. This is the um, second phone that I started the video with and I just set it down in there to watch it. Now after a while, of course, you know, the stupid meter does time out and I'll catch it sometimes when I come out there. But look at that, there's 22 minutes, 25 minutes, yeah, the meter shut off. It was still running. You hear it. It's nice when the Goodman unit stops because you can actually hear the variable frequency drive running on the other unit. And this is running on first stage, so it, in the afternoon it never shuts off. It just bounces between first and second stage. You can see it's still running. And you just look in the uh, amplitude of the uh, audio that it never stops. And then right here is probably when I come back outside and mess with the grab the meter and all that kind of stuff, I'm sure. Yep. So there I am, I come out there, I grab that, turn it back on. I'm talking. Or whatever I'm doing, so. That unit was still running. Voltage is down to 290 there. Let's just keep going. There's like an hour into it. Meter's getting ready shut off. <laughs> I think actually this beeps in time. It's got high voltage on it. Uh, this must be right here. Is probably when the Goodman unit starts right next to it. Let's put the video right there. And of course, ah! 
That's not me, that's a piece of shit Goodman right next to it. So, the Lennox unit, the three phase unit running on, you know, 40 hertz, which is first stage, it just keeps running. I have it set lower than the downstairs unit and just keep the upstairs unit just running. The downstairs Goodman unit is pretty much all or nothing. So it just, you know, basically just runs until it cycles off. Right there. And it's downstairs. See, at this point it was 270 volts. I think I had come down here and this is when I pretty much called it, I think. The BFD still wasn't tripping. That outdoor fan motor, though, was starting to wig just a little bit. And I'm running an ECM motor off of DC power. It's essentially what they run off of internally anyway after they're rectified. And that's about the battery it's actually heating. So I'm going to do the rest of my editing now on this video, but I just want to show you guys that I ran that sucker pretty much 90 minutes off of batteries. Not even fully topped off batteries. They were like a little over 13.2 volts or something. Uh, the full float voltage is like 13.8, I think, on these lead acid. So uh, like deep cycle batteries. So it could have stored a little more energy even. And I never ran it until the VFD quit. But I mean, getting down to this voltage, you know, that was good enough. You can see it's still running there. So anyway, uh, I'm going to take that out of the sequence. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish editing there. Basically say that it could run 90 minutes. And that's without the batteries actually hitting their peak voltage. It was already in the later afternoon when I started this. So volt, the batteries were not charged up to like, you know, what they could be charged up. Uh, in their floating voltage range, it's kind of, kind of down in there. So it could probably do even better. So if I'm sure if I plug in the solar, I'm going to get nothing. 27, 269, it's dropping down. That's not going to make any difference because the sun, you know, is gone. Actually, it went up a couple tenths of a volt. <laughs> plug in the solar, <laughs> but the sun's, the sun's already down. It's going to be dark in minutes. So I'll plug in the uh, utility power here. 270 volts. And that fan's just bumping up and down on its own. It does that sometimes. And you'll see the current's gonna jump up there. Six amps. And then that doesn't, utility power does not charge the batteries, but the batteries, you know, will just rise a little bit because they're not being sagged as much with 276 volts. So, huh, decent test. It's the first time I've done that test. I just had this camera down in there recording. You see that recording is uh, one hour, 28 minutes. So basically, I did like a basically a 90 minute test. Battery's not even quite fully charged, but charged pretty, pretty decent. Let's see what uh, 315 volts is per cell. So what I say that was 315 volts divided by 24 batteries. That's how they are in series, was 13.1 volts. So see, I did not have the, them way charged up. You can see here, it says the floating voltage is 13.5 to 13.8. I was it like under that? And yet I got 90 minutes, 13.1. And then uh, the final voltage, so 13.1 per cell, was, uh, what was it? Two, about 270 divided by 24 in series, 11.25 volts per battery. So it changed like two volts from a charge to discharge. And there's 24 times two parallel, but that was just to see what the, uh, per battery that would be. So, not bad. 90 minutes, so now it's back on utility power until tomorrow when the sun comes up. Batteries will stay discharged like that until tomorrow. Someone was kind of saying, you know, they're worried they'd get ruined, but these are basically like deep cycle batteries. RVs use deep cycle batteries, and as you know, or tr in trolley motors and stuff like that, when people discharge deep cycle lead batteries, they're not getting charged immediately back up. They're getting just they're getting recharged whenever somebody puts them on a charger, <laughs> you know, whatever. So they should be kind of okay. They were free. If not, it'll be lesson learned. But we'll see. But the the, the idea is not to charge them back up off utility power because. You know, I want to store some of the surplus solar power. So, I think this, so these are 10, so 10, 20, 30, plus a couple scrap ones and a couple ones that bubbled up and I hooked a <laughs> shitty charger to it. Should have enough to make another bank of 24. And as I said earlier, I'll probably isolate those so they just stay charged and I have them 
for emergency use if the power goes out. So, anyway, we'll see how that works out. So, oh well. Pretty interesting test. We'll see how it goes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff.